When you think about America's great wine regions, you might think about Napa Valley and Sonoma. You probably don't think about Northern New York. Thanks to the development of cold climate grape varieties that can withstand the region's low winter temperatures, it's time to start thinking about great wine in Northern New York. My name is Lindsay Pajo. I'm the Ag Business Development Marketing Specialist for Harvest New York. I work with farm-based beverages and local food and distribution across northern New York. So I'm working with cold climate grapes and wineries to expand the market opportunities for the region. In northern New York, we have about 15 wineries that are looking to either expand and a couple more to come on over the next couple of years. Like Sonoma and Napa Valley, Northern New York has been designated as a distinct American viticultural area with its own distinct geographical features, grape varieties, and wine styles. It really is a very exciting time for the wine and grape industry in Northern New York. I'm Colin Reed and Natalie and myself have a vineyard up in Moores, New York, just about a mile from the Canadian border. And we use the tasting room down in downtown Plattsburgh as our main place for customers to come visit with us. Many people know of Napa Valley and Sonoma Valley, Finger Lakes, etc. These are all known AVAs and one of the most recent AVAs in the country is the Champlain Valley of New York State. The AVA helps us to designate the types of grapes and hence the types of wines we can expect from a region. Each AVA tends to specialize in certain types of grapes. Ours obviously given how northern we are are cold hardy varieties for the most part. Of varieties most often developed uh, through the University of Minnesota, but also developed in Michigan or some at Cornell University as well. Well, you know, when people come here, I don't think they want to just visit a region and just drink California wines. They want to uh, have a sense of regionalism. So by offering them something with an AVA designation, you're sending out the message, this is locally grown and the wine is produced from local grapes. And, People seem to really get a kick out of that. My name is Dan Vesco. My wife and I own Vesco Ridge Vineyards. We are just finishing our eighth season. We have a small vineyard. We have approximately five to 600 vines. Because of being a farm winery, we do purchase grapes throughout the state of New York and go ahead and produce everything here. And at this point right now, we're approximately doing around eight to 9,000 bottles a year. Being a small winery, we don't have the luxury of having a lot of equipment in the lab. We don't have a lot of employees that uh, are well versed on the science of uh, wine. We basically have me. So when I do run into a situation, there are individuals at Cornell who helps out in a lot of the problems and gets back to me very quickly so I can eliminate the problem somehow. So I think for me, having a team like Cornell is great because of the financial burden it I don't have to incur because uh, they take care of a lot of things for us. I'm Chris Gerling. I'm an Extension Associate with the Department of Food Science based at the New York State Agricultural Experiment Station in Geneva. I do statewide enology extension, so I work with wineries across New York State. Along the shores of Lake Champlain, we've got a lot of new wineries, and so my lab has been mostly focused on the wine production part of this. So while growing grapes is probably the biggest challenge they have, making wine is, is another big challenge and so we've been trying to support them through our usual statewide extension efforts. So all the Minnesota varieties have nice fresh fruit aromas. The, the red wines you get cherry and you get dark fruit and all these nice things. The whites are very fruit forward and luscious. You have melon, you have uh, tropical fruit, you have all sorts of nice aromatics that you can work with. We have seen these wines do well at competitions. We have seen these wines accepted by consumers. We have seen these wines starting to really make a name for themselves. It's been especially rewarding to be a part of the emergence of this dynamic new wine production region in New York State. Cornell Cooperative Extension is able to support the growth of the wine industry in northern New York in so many ways. We have agricultural specialists to help people start vineyards and grow their grapes. We have enologists in Geneva to help bring out the best characteristics of these varieties. And through Harvest New York, we have specialists such as myself who can help to establish wineries, navigate regulations, and market these wines. In northern New York, the future of the wine industry looks bright. 